Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about the upcoming winter storm that's going to be impacting areas from Wednesday through Sunday of this week. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. All right, so let's get started. So here, let's start off with the overall, uh, this is the latest NAM model. Now I kind of use this as kind of a short range model. We're starting off with this because it kind of gives you an idea of how this, uh, this developing storm system is actually gonna be taking place. Now, how you read this, this is a short range model that goes out 84 hours. And this is the 12Z for Tuesday morning, which is essentially you have to minus six hours away from that. So this is essentially from six o'clock on Tuesday morning and you can see an Arctic high pressure is over Iowa and that's going to be the coldest temperatures uh, of the United States over that area with that dry Arctic air but if you look out west we've got a developing storm system on this dipping jet stream that's going to be impacting it's kind of even like a two-pronged approach this week from Wednesday through Sunday it's going to be hitting areas in this part of the country and then by this weekend it's going to be impacting uh, the mid-Atlantic end of the northeast so let's take it out another frame and you can kind of really start to see it develop now. Now this is early Wednesday morning. It'll have a rain break out over Texas where I've had a pretty dry air over the last, past couple of days. And these dew points are really low. So as this actually kind of moves in, it'll, uh, as rain falls, it'll help lower the temperatures and we could get like a little rain snow mix down in northeast texas even where some of these greens are showing up and especially into southern oklahoma but where you see the solid blues that's just going to be all snow as this really uh, develops and taps in some of that colder air that's still at the surface into oklahoma uh, kansas uh, you know into nebraska and then swing it up through iowa if we take it out another frame this this low kind of really starts to develop now more more rain on the south side we'll see some ice make kind of a break making a transition in the upper uh arkansas into missouri but it really starts cranking out over missouri where uh, it's going to be dump, dumping some uh heavy moderate to heavy snow at times and upper upper missouri into iowa and eventually into uh w w wisconsin and this is by late uh, wednesday night if we take it out another frame now this is early thursday morning like i said it really starts to get cranking over missouri where it's still dumping snow by then and snow on the south side of iowa now it's kind of bleeding into uh, uh illinois and, a chicago, and the chicago area and southern wisconsin and this is again by early thursday morning and that you can see this low really starts to just stay around <laughs> So it's still hanging out in uh, Missouri, uh, Iowa. Now it's into uh, southern uh, Nebraska, We're jumping more heavy snow, a moderate moderate snow into into Minnesota and into Wisconsin, and then then rain rain on the south side. Now, if we extend the view and take a look at the latest uh, GFS model, so the NAM only goes out till early Friday morning. This is I'm doing this video on Monday. So the latest, latest GFS model kind of extends the view and kind of has that rain, that, that low pressure uh, system uh, de developing over uh, Indiana and, and Illinois as the kind of the, the second prong approach is starting to develop for the Mid-Atlantic in, in the Northeast. So now we got that snow, snow line uh, into Illinois, into Indiana and upper uh, Ohio, and then of course uh, rain, rain on the South side. And as, as we extend it out till Saturday uh, afternoon, this is at noontime now, this low really starts to crank. Now we're having a low off the coast where it's dumping those heavier snow bands inland, rain on the south side, but inland now we're seeing snow in Pennsylvania, uh, up into New York, and now we're getting into, in, into, into Connecticut and uh, uh, in, into New England. If we take it out another frame, that low kind of really starts to deepen now. And so, like I said, this is gonna be a two prong approach. This is Monday. So this is kind of an, er an early look at this storm, but this really, now you're seeing some of the darker blues and those are some of the heavier uh, snow bands that are coming in. Now we're down to 998 millibar as it bleeds in more, uh, as these isobars kind of really tighten up now, 
more more snow into upper uh, Pennsylvania, into New York, into Connecticut, New Hampshire, Vermont, as it goes in goes into Maine. If we extend the view, now we're talking Sunday afternoon about noontime. This low now down to 997. So it's really it's really starting to crank up now as it's dumping more heavy snow snow bands inland more inland so this is going to be looks like it's going to be impacting more inland versus down to the coast so but heavier snow bands into uh, new york and upper uh, uh connecticut and into vermont and and new hampshire and if we this this lasts all the way through this is late midnight on sunday night and the low is still hanging out um into maine so let's let's go over some of the snowfall totals and i broke this in two kind of a two-pronged approach this is kind of an early look of where some of the snow may fall. So Wednesday through Friday, it's got that snow extending all the way in the extreme northeast Texas. That's going to be impacting starting on late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. It'll dump some snow into Arkansas, much of Missouri, into, into Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, uh, a couple inches in uh, Illinois and Indiana, uh, you know, Michigan and, and Wisconsin. But if we have the second prong approach in the northeast where that low really starts to deepen off the northeast coast and it takes advantage of that warm water now we're seeing some heavier amounts and this is the latest gfs model this is their latest thinking this is the latest guidance and of course it updates every uh four times four times a day so we've got plenty of runs between now and of course next uh you know of course sunday so i'll be updating this uh throughout the week but this is kind of the latest guidance right now so uh, dumping some heavier snows into Pennsylvania, New York, and into Vermont and New Hampshire and into Maine. So I was going to go over and show you now the Canadian model of what they're, like, what they're thinking. It's got heavier snows uh, over Missouri where they think the low is going to stay around just a, t a, just a little bit longer. And, but it's actually got it further south, too. So now we're getting some of the snows into uh, uh, Kentucky and into West Virginia. I'm not buying this one as much i don't think this i think this is gonna be more more or less rain of this area but we'll we'll see how all this uh plays out i just want to kind of show you the different models of what we're kind of looking at uh right now and here's the latest gefs model kind of has the same thing where it's kind of like a two-pronged approach has the snow majority over missouri iowa into illinois and indiana uh, you know, M Minnesota and w Wisconsin has got some heavy, those heavier snow um, and, and, and into New England and then, of course, f further inland, too. So let me let me show you the latest Euro model kind of has the same thing, but it has this dry slot into Indiana and Ohio. So it's got that same two prong approach where it's going to be impacting areas from Wednesday through Friday of this week. And then it has like a little dry slot and then it has the heavier snows into the mid-atlantic and into the northeast so that'll kind of give you an idea of what we're kind of looking at right now kind of an early look of this you know upcoming a uh, winter storm that's going to be impacting areas from wednesday through sunday of this week of course we've got all week to look at this um, i appreciate you guys tuning in tonight uh, be sure to like this video and definitely share with your friends on uh, social media and please subscribe to my channel and catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.